That's map 4F39. 4F39, picking the front side. Preserving history through modern methods. A team of archivists digitized a rare map collection at the Newberry Library in Chicago. So the Novaco map collection has been here for over 55 years. We want to make it more easily accessible. Jeff Kelch owns the digital archive group tasked with capturing map images using high resolution cameras. So we have phase one digital back cameras. They're 80 megapixel digital back cameras. The client has asked for us to be at the highest resolution. So we're digitizing these at 6,000 DPI. That client, Newberry president, Daniel Green. He says the maps are a marquee collection worth sharing all over the world. So this collection may be the best collection of Italian maps on this side of the Atlantic. Um, there's over 750 maps from the 16th and early 17th century. It's important for us to, at the Newberry to get our collection out beyond our walls um, so that people can see it. Each piece a work of art. The first thing that we think about when we're digitizing these and seeing how small the images are, how small the writing is, the detail that's put into the ocean or the tree, how long that must have taken, how many people it must have taken to create that map is just, it's amazing. Even if the information is out of date. And then when you think of the historical significance of it and the fact that um, obviously there, there are countries and cities that have changed names, but the fact that some of these villages are no longer there. Each map a historic gift, including one of the North Pole that featured an iconic gift giver. The North Pole map is one of my favorites. Down in the right hand corner, there's a little gentleman on a sleigh in a red suit with reindeer in front. <laughs> and we're like, wait a second, that's Santa. The cool map of the Roman Colosseum when they were staging uh, these epic sea bottles inside the Colosseum. It's just amazing to see the detail. Preserving the historic pieces will also make them available for future generations. It's critically important to preserve primary sources of history like the Navaco maps or other uh, resources that we preserve here. It helps people understand who they are, where they came from. Kelch's company has archived some of the most iconic figures of the world, heavy hitters like Robert F. Kennedy and Oprah Winfrey. With that collection, we digitized over 500,000 film negatives. We just finished the Billy Graham, the portion of that collection, uh, 1.2 million film images. And actual hitters from the Cubs and the White Sox. What's really cool about those collections is that you can go to the game and that starting video at the beginning of the game of all the vintage stuff, that's our stuff. Preservation efforts also have been pushed by the pandemic. Prior to the pandemic, there, there, was, there was a need, there was, there was an interest in digitization. The equipment's better now, the costs are, are, are uh, much more affordable now. And so now that we're coming out of this, we're seeing a lot more interest. The pandemic accelerated this a lot. We've reallocated resources within the library towards digital initiatives and services. And I think this project is proving to us internally that it's possible to say, well, here's this fantastic collection of 750 maps that you can't see anywhere else in the United States. Let's make it as widely accessible as possible. Reporting for Digital Archive Group, I'm Rafer Weigel, Story Smart.